And welcome back to the Radisson Hotel and Conference Center, Title Town USA. Here at Locker Room. Fun doing those fan zooms. I love it. I love it, Bert. It takes me back. I think I might have my old high school football and wrestling coach on next week. That'd be so great. We'll see. All right. Let's talk about the NFL, NFC North, start there. Vikings got their first win of the, over the, of the season over the Texans, and subsequently Bill O'Brien got fired. We mentioned that right. in terms of the Falcons being 0-4. But where do you see this Minnesota team going? Can they work their way out of the hole they're in? I think they can, but I don't think they will. Uh, they, they're, they're very, very young uh, when it comes to their secondary. And I think um, Kirk Cousins isn't really living up to his expectations. Yeah, well, and they, like we said with O'Brien, he was 52 and 48 with four division titles in seven years, so you can get fired at any time. I mean, think about that. They were beating the Chiefs right. in the playoffs last right. year, and they haven't won a game since then, and he's gone. Bears shut down by the Colts. Surprise? That's their first loss. I was surprised. I thought they were uh, trending upward with uh, Nick Foles, but I told you I was a little weary about that move, putting yeah. him as a permanent starter yeah. so soon. Same old Lions, lost again. They lost Quality again. team, though, Saints. Quality team, but uh, the, uh, the Saints with Drew Brees, it was tough. Right. Mike McCarthy's Cowboys are 1-3, and three, and they were down big time against the Browns. Right. How about, how about them Cowboys? How about them? Uh, Maybe the, uh, the biggest disappointment so far uh, during the, uh, the, the 2020 season. Yeah. Dak Prescott, I mean, their offense is playing great, but they can't stop anyone. They can't stop, uh, they can't stop no one. And They're like the point, Packers of the 80s. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a chance to see them, but I heard a lot of stories about the right. Packers in the 70s and the 80s. Bills 4-0, Browns and Colts 3-1 in the AFC. Wow. I'm so happy for the Cleveland Browns. They've been, they've been down so long, I want to see them get back up to the top. And did you see the fight at the end of the Rams-Giants game between Jalen Ramsey and Golden Tate and then, like, yes. 10 other dudes? Right. Uh, you know there's, there's a little family squabble going on. Right. Yeah, so. You might want to take that off the field, though. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to bring that Wait for it after the season. Yes. By the way, the Packers just one of two teams in the NFC undefeated still. Seattle's the other one, and that's who the Packers beat in the first round of the playoffs last right. year. So, Bert, we have, what, we have 12 games left. If we can win 10 out of the next 12, that's 14 and 2. 14 and 12. Well, that's very lofty, <laughs> I, I would say, as much. Uh, we'll break down the schedule in a little bit. But also, some breaking news a earlier today Lambeau Field will not have any fans, not on November 1st, and possibly the rest of the season. As of right now, due to the concerns of COVID 19 and hospitalizations in the Green Bay area and across the state of Wisconsin, an indefinite hold until there is a marked improvement. Yep. I think that's a smart, uh, smart move. You, you really want to put the, you want to make sure the fans are safe and also the players as well. So I think it's a great move by the organization. Take care of yourself and those around you. Stay six, six feet or more. You can put it on for the rest of the show if you okay. want. Okay. Well, Social distance and mask up. When we come back, we'll talk about Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. <laughs> 